Two wrap-ups in a row? Can this possibly be? Yes! This is the Friday News Wrap-Up for the 1st of February, 2013. Despite Samogo's usually upbeat candor, their upcoming title, Year Walk, defies the tone of previous releases thanks to its muted, darker presentation. What can we look forward to when it drops later in February? Well, from all hints, it looks like the game will be an adventure of sorts, though that doesn't really sum things up properly, as it is slated to feature a range of gameplay elements and mechanics that are hard to explain in a bite-sized presentation. The game is said to be packed with secrets, many of which people may not ever get, so consider me thoroughly intrigued. It's not as though we haven't seen Terry Kavanagh's hand on the iOS platform already. His release of Super Hexagon is one of App Spy's top games for 2012. With that said, VVV VVV garnered a lot of attention when it was released, and I had always secretly hoped it would receive a port. After a recent tweet from Terry, it's all but confirmed that my wish has been granted. More news when it's official. No, you're not looking at Valve finally taking a serious plunge onto the App Store. Rather, it's Gameloft's latest effort at spinning franchises we know and love to pull in the mobile gamer crowd. I may sound bitter, but I think I'd like to see how a Team Fortress 2 come Battlefield mashup feels like on mobile devices. Gameloft has teased the title by saying it will be released soon. Let's not beat around the bush. I'm letting you in on this one because those of you who choose not to jailbreak their iDevices rarely get opportunities to emulate classic arcade titles on the beast of a smartphone you're using. Gridly is free, and once installed, all you need to do is copy your legally acquired ROM backups of the arcade games you love to the ROM folder where Gridly is installed. I apologize for the vagaries, but Google has a wealth of information to help you out. My apologies to those of you who do not own an iPad capable of playing this title, but without a doubt this wolf in sheep's clothing, yes, I meant to say that, is just what the platform needed. Our full review will be up shortly, but for now take our word for it. If you don't already own it, this is well worth the time and money. I'll be back again shortly with our little Inferno review. Until then, why don't you spread the word of AppSpy? Hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, or best of all, sign up and join the chatter over on AppSpy.com. Have a great weekend. This has been Andrew with AppSpy.com. We review, you decide.